It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC North. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 23. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Today, it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. to do the honors here and we are underway from Ford Field taken in at the three so here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive they'll be led out by the seventh year man out of Cal the top pick back in 2016 Jared Goff and at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. And Goff going to look to throw right away. They're connecting here with D.J. Shark. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards there on the first play from scratch. That's his first catch of the game, and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Play action. It's Goff. Looking deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like what they did there because many of the deep throws we see in the course of a game come to the outside, the perimeter of the field. In this case, they used a slot receiver to run deep downfield and tried to connect that way. Unsuccessful in that attempt, but I like what they were doing. Goff linking up with Chark for the Lions' first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. <laughs> First down, and they go with Swift again. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The impressive opening drive continues, and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, and they are dominating the line of scrimmage. They just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. 
That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Goff a handoff here to Swift. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Charles, one thing that he referenced to us yesterday was his confidence fitting the ball into any window, but obviously that window was a little too tight and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation in making those types of throws. Down near the goal line, I don't think you can anticipate it as much as you need to see it open. You've got to be precise with your throws down here in the red zone. That one goes into double coverage, and he gets picked off. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. We're scoreless after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Play fake. Rodgers. He'll find his tight end here, DeGuara. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Dancing to his left. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You let them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Extra point by Badgley up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. following that pick six and now the kick is away Nixon elects not to return it and this comes out to the 25 the Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive now remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around yeah, and sometimes partner I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field you're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long you're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On play action. Now Rodgers. 
And able to find Alan Lazard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Rodgers teaming up with Lazard there for a Packer first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. Now a throw here, hauled in. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Being chased out left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. now on first down. He'll drop it. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. And how about the big boys showing off the wheels? Let's face it. Anybody who watches a game, even if it goes against your team, when there's a big man with the football, Everyone locks all eyes. in. All <laughs> eyes. Everyone locks in, and they're rumbling. You can feel it all the way to the upper reaches of the stands. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Following the fumble recovery, Goff. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one. And in for the Lions, touchdown! Bobby Ross St. Brown, 38 yards. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. To me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, this, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. And Rodgers is going to go down. He said... Wayne McNeil, what an effort to get in there and drop it. Well, that's a big defensive stop there, and it takes away a lot of momentum from the offense coming up that big completion to prior snap. Give big credit to the defense for bouncing back. Rodgers. 
Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, a look at the next-gen stats for the Packers in that first half. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they too have found passing lanes to be hard to come by so far. As you see by the numbers, they'll need to figure that out in the second half. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. Well, this offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is scooped up by the Lions. The 20, 10, 5, and into the end zone. The scoop and score. Turn from the Detroit touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. Badgley on for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football. We witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. That's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well, and that's really... Unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't want to admit it to themselves, but we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they pull a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. 23 yards on the play. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating 
what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. On first down, Rodgers. Forced out to his... Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. Bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Here's Rodgers. He finds Watson complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and ten, here's Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. This has been one mistake after another on the offensive side of the ball. That's now three interceptions to go along with two fumbles for them. And if you're going to turn the ball over five times in the game, your chances to win have to be about 100 to 1. And it's not looking good for them here. So out now come the Lions. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 24. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Lions on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. Oh, man, you know, these types yeah. of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actual frustration. Not a good play. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And some room to work. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 53 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. On second down, Swift. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Here's Swift. And he will push 
push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run with Swift. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They will run it with Swift here. No gain on the play that time, so a big stop, and it's going to leave them with a fourth and goal. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end, any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stopped that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Fielded just outside the goal line. And that final kickoff concludes the ball game. Partner and one side, a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling his team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game.